Hello, hello. My name is Blartanian, and uh, welcome to my channel. Taking a, taking a shot at commentating here, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Wanted to try uh, getting Pandemonium through Aranea's Lufenia after seeing a couple folks running launch comps saying, you know, oh, I wish I'd used Pandemonium here, I wish I'd used Pandemonium, but they absorb wind. Turns out, uh, with a pretty specific setup, you can get it done, and it works surprisingly well. The trick is using uh, Reno's Call ability along with Kryal's Enchantment so that you're enchanted with uh, weakness damage during the summon phase. The trick there, of course, is that Reno normally takes up two debuff slots, so you'll see I do a bit of a awkward dance to, as we get set up here to make sure I have all the debuffs I want on five of them before we bring in Reno. That way we aren't wasting a debuff slot with Numb when we just really want a ZX one. So one of those debuffs is Kais's uh, Fitted Enfeeblement that he gets from hitting with launch. That's why early on I'm going to go for a couple of suboptimal launches just to get that uh, that sweet, sweet debuff on there. We also want them to take a turn. Uh, I know, you know, zero turn launches are kind of the, the thing, but they frame their turns and become immune to delay if you don't let them act once before uh, they go under 80%. I think they have to use the Phalanx move. So... Right there, we have the Phalanx move. Now, a fun thing about this team that I think a lot of people may have overlooked is that um, in order to break that Phalanx shield buff thing, they need to take critical damage, uh, otherwise they don't go below one brave. The trick is, uh, Kais actually gives you a 100% crit rate, and combined with Kryal's Trap, that means that, uh, as you're about to see here, So he was breakable right then without me having to like waste time hitting him to kind of queue it up. Uh, so yeah, now with that you'll see we have all, all the five debuffs we wanted to get. Jack, Gabronth, and both of Kais's. So with that I do believe that is uh, that's everything we needed to get set up to bring Reno in. So we'll just go ahead and let uh, let Kais kind of finish his business here. Use Jack Call to get a free launch before we go into hero support. Because really this team is all about just kind of figuring out the the best way to line up a bunch of really stupid launches. It's not really a new concept, but I kind of like the creativity, not to toot my own horn, but bringing Reno in after putting the five debuffs on to kind of optimize your debuff slot you know, real estate. You know, I gotta say, uh, Reno was gonna be a skip for me back when he came out, but I ended up pulling from after, you know, I dropped like 200 tickets, I think, because I was like, oh, here is a pretty good call, and I'm really happy I did. He's super fun, both on the team or as a call. I'm really happy with him. He might be one of my favorite units that I pulled. So, as you can imagine, the rest of the fight is kind of academic here. Um, it's basically just trying to squeeze as many goofy launches as we can in. Um, I think the fastest I've been able to finish this fight with any variational launch team is the uh, I think 22 turns with Dark Knight Cecil uh, in place of Cryal. You'll, I think that's another video you could see. So, it, it'll be interesting to see how this works out. So there's a good chance that it's about to go, you know, the music's going to end up getting struck by copyright here, but eh, such is life. Normally you want to stack bursts, uh, you know, I would have wanted to bring in the Roms a friend and do that. But uh, I had two, th two thoughts here. One, I wanted to get that, that Kryl EX buff going, um, just for the, the ridiculous battery it gives during this. Um, the other is so that uh, I'd have, well, you'll see. Getting ahead of myself here. Man. 
I didn't have I didn't have Clouds Burst when it first came out, and so I you know I, I was like, wow, everyone's loving this burst. I don't really see the appeal. But now that I've been using it with Kais and like actually running a lot more dedicated launch teams, holy cow, this is a fun burst to use. I love this music. So, I mean, it's kind of more of the usual stuff where uh, you want to try to squeeze as many launches out of this burst phase as possible, especially with Kryon and Kais lined up the way we did. It gets kind of be a bit disgusting. And then it didn't show it there because the burst attack can't launch, but you ideally want to make sure that whoever you hit with the finisher isn't the one you... Is, is the same person you hit with the last finishing touch, so that you don't waste that launch. Since, uh, you know... It's kind of a little extra launch you can take advantage of, as you're about to see. CXs. So this is kind of funny. I uh, I want to make sure I use Kryl's C65 because, you know, that just kind of helps you squeeze out more damage in what's already a very high damage situation. And these are all free turns, so it doesn't matter. We're just, at this point, trying to get as close to, like, an optimal damage output as we can. And given given the turn count we're at at this point and how much gas we have in the tank, it's not like we're in, in danger of costing ourselves the run here, but, you know, every little bit helps. Now, with that out of the way, I think it's time to... yeah. The entire point of this team comp really was to get to this point. We, uh, we got the Cloud Burst, we got the, the Reno debuff and the Cryolan chance, so we get to do ridiculous pandemonium launch stuff. And who doesn't love doing ridiculous pandemonium launch stuff? Look at those numbers. I was just watching um, Black Cloud's most recent video with Sid Reigns and looking at the numbers that guy puts out by himself, and it's like, wow, I, I had to build an entire team at this point to get something resembling that, and he just kind of does it casually on a skill too. You know, well, that's I guess that's what Foresight does, huh? Something to look forward to. So the damage here's a little uneven, but I don't think I really mind. You'll see here, I decided to drop both LDs here because I'm just going to swap Coriel out for Ramza once we're out of the summon. Because really, again, she's mostly only here to facilitate this summon phase and Cloud's burst phase, so with those both out of the way, she, uh, she can tag out. Launches, more delays. Now, here we go. It's kind of wild how long Roms has been kind of the best friend unit to use. I feel like it's. I don't know, I feel like it's been like a couple of months now, just he stills. Just leagues better than almost anyone. I know Emperor's doing some crazy stuff now, but I, I don't know. I really like the simplicity of of what Ramza brings. Between you know the burst effect, the delays, the battery, the launches, it's it's a lot of really cool stuff in, in a convenient package. Pretty good here. Only uh, only 14 turns in, and they're they're almost dead. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Getting more of the that attack buff. A 
launching Kais, Kais always feels weird because you, you expect that mid-air battery because, you know, when he's part of the, the rest of the launch. <sighs> now I think the thing to do here is to save that launch and let Cloud do his thing. Because if we do it that way, what we can do is we can get a free launch off the, the C-65 with Kais right behind, which is always, you know, that, that's always what you want in these kind of situations. And now Cloud's free to kind of use his actual, you know, proper launching move. I know that breaks him out of order, but you know, this, this late in the game, I don't think it's going to cost us much. Assuming this is going to kill, I hope it kills. If it doesn't kill, I'll be really sad. Eh, bummer. Well, so much for that. Rip the, 12, the turn 20 dream. I probably could have done something silly with... I wonder if I had launched the other guy with Ramza's thing and used this, the AA for a launch here, what would have happened, but... Eh, I, I'm still pretty happy with how this turned out. I think 21 turns is still something to be proud of. There we go. Okay, so uh, and hopefully uh, this was an interesting run for you, and... Uh, that you appreciate the commentary, first time trying this. But I uh, thought it'd be a you know, fun little experiment to try to get pandemonium through a stage that absorbed wind. Anyway, uh, if uh, if you enjoyed this or wanted to kind of raise this you know, visibility, give it a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, cool. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you around. <laughs>